Then how did you get involved, Cynthia, in the film Swing? Obviously, somebody had to choreograph it. Well, I got a call one day, and I'm doing a lot of work in the San Francisco Bay Area. Yeah. And a friend of a friend mentioned that they were looking for a choreographer, and I walked into a coffee shop and um, met uh, Mary Kyle and one of the associate producers. And um, it was quite moment, a moment in time that we knew it was going to work because of my enthusiasm for what I, it is I do and I knew mm -hmm. it was going to be a great opportunity for me. Well, you know, you mentioned that the swing dancing was so popular in San Francisco at the time that you decided to do the film. And yet I can remember an entire generation, it seems, that never danced at all. Uh, I grew up in an era when we danced and, and loved it and still do. And yet my daughters, they, they dance now, but they certainly didn't then. And I, you know, what do you think brought about the revival? Because it is a revival. Well, I'd say that the twist came in and blew yeah. everybody apart from each other. And then um, rock and roll, um, I was very disappointed because when I was growing up, mm -hmm. I wanted to hold on to somebody or I'd go to a dance and I'd be out there dancing with all the strobe lights going on and I'd turn around and the <laughs> fellow who asked me to dance was gone. <laughs> so my goal was to you know, bring this all back together so we can hang on for at least three minutes and not, um, not have to go searching for where your partner <laughs> might have drifted off to. And I noticed, too, that it's been in my life this, my whole time, I grew up in Chicago, mm -hmm. and my family was avid dancers, and we danced in the streets in the summer, and it was always polka dancing or partner dancing of some sort, and it's just been a passion of mine, and I have some forces driving me to bring people back for the pleasure of what it is like to have two people dancing cheek to cheek. But you actually teach dancing. I do. Yeah. I do. And how did you get into choreography? I've been choreographing when you when people are needing to learn how to dance. Teaching is like choreography. You give the people what they can do. You give them hard steps. They're not going to do the steps. So you have to kind of bring it on down to make mm -hmm. it work for each individual person. So when I was contacted for the first film, with which was Jade, um, we had 500 people in the ballroom, and they brought in a big orchestra down from New York, and then I had three principal actors who not only had to act, they had to do dialogue, and they had to dance. And my instinct to be able to let them have something that looked good, make it easy for them, so they wouldn't be too complicated to get diverted from the whole dialogue experience. And there it, it, it proved to be very very, very good for me. Mm -hmm. Well, did they turn out to be good dancers, or did they, they need did. a lot of help? They did, um, but I was there coaching them all the time, mm -hmm. and there was a lot of cuts and, you know, cut, cut, yeah. cut, do it again, and it actually was a beautiful scene. The first scene in that film is, is what I credit myself well, to. You must Dance has influenced, I guess, every country. Our country? And every age. And mm -hmm. it's uh, what's really great now is I'm teaching the young people. I yeah. have uh, teaching 12 year olds, people, mm -hmm. kids in sixth grade. Mm -hmm. Then you teach the people who are in love. You teach the single people who are looking for love. And then you pe teach the people who have been in love and they've never danced before. And it's becoming a whole metamorphosis for bringing music dance. You don't think about your troubles. You're yeah. just dancing. We might even get romantic music back then. I think we're getting <laughs> some drifting through. Good, good.